Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be seeing how we can execute Apple scripts using um, macOS apps and, you know, using C Sharp as well. So, to start off, go to your Spotlight search and get up the script editor, which is just here. Um, I've already got it up, but then you want to go into your folder that you want to put it in and then make a new document. And this is what we've got. So we can do a few things in here, or lots of things, um, but this is just an example. I'm going to say tell application Safari. And we're going to tell it to make new document with properties. And then here we can say URL. Um, and then let's just say apple.com. So we need to say HTTPS first, otherwise it won't work. Apple.com. And then we need to say Entel. And that's all we need for that. And now we can save this. Um, make sure it's saved. We just call it untitled. And then what we need to do, this is the important part. We need to go to export. And then we need to make sure this file format is set to application. And then uh, we can save it as uh, Safari open. Or something like that. And then save that. And now what we need to do is close this down. Go to the folder that we saved it in. And I have it here. And now what we need to do is we need to get info. And then here where it says where, copy his path name. Now what we can do is start our um, app. So go to Visual Studio. Once that's loaded up, we want to make a new app. And it's going to be a Cocoa app. And let's just call this Safari Open. And then click Create. Now what we want to do is open the Storyboard Designer, which should open Xcode for us. Once Xcode has loaded up, we want to add a new button. So we go to the top, add, push button will do. And we'll just keep it like that for now. And then what we need to do is we need to go into the top, Editor, Assistant. And then change this ViewController.m to ViewController.h for header. And then we select this and then use Control and click and drag it up here. This is an action and then we're going to call it... Um, button pushed or something like that then connect it and save that then now if we go back into Visual Studio you can go into your viewcontroller.cs and if we go into .designer.cs then we can see that we've got our button pushed action so let's get rid of that back into the viewcontroller.cs um, and then in here we can do the action that we want to do. So make sure it's inside this view controller class, um, but not inside anything else. And we want to do something when the button is pushed. So we say partial, void, because we're not returning anything from this function. Um, and then we can say push button, or button push, sorry. And then it also fills that for us. And then inside here, um, let's just make sure it's working. Console.write line. Right line. And then we we'll just say A. And if we run this quickly, once that's loaded, we've got this. Um, so we can just click on our button. And then hopefully it would have logged A. You can see it's logged that there. So let's close this. Now we need to make this 
um, application actually do something. So we're going to go to using system dot diagnostics and then replace this console dot write line with process dot start and then we're going to say slash users or uh, what we copied down before so slash users slash Noah slash desktop apps uh, Apple scripts and then we need to also on the end of this um, see what we called our um, app before so here I've called it Safari open so we need to put that in as well Safari open and then the ending for this is going to be dot app so once you've done that we can start this again now you can see this is opened up again now if you click on the button it's going to open up Safari it might ask you for a prompt first but um, it will open up Safari if you say OK and we've got what we um, wanted so obviously these app scripts um, can be a lot more complex uh, but this is how you do it and so I hope this video is helpful if you enjoyed it please uh, drop a like and subscribe that's the easiest way to help me out so see you next time